Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another reaction video. Today we're going to be watching more Andrew Schultz. We're going to be checking out what if serial killers went after men. Um, I've been loving his content lately. It has been so funny and like I just like that he's so quick on his toes. He does a lot of crowd work and I just have been enjoying it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you guys are new to the channel, hi, my name is Camilla. I do reaction videos here on my channel and every once in a while I do vlogs as well. If you're into that, please consider subscribing and there's also a few other ways you could support my channel. I have Super Thanks, Venmo, and Amazon Wishlist. And let's get right into it. What if serial killers went after men? Let's go. Together, uh, I learned she's a fucking psychopath. Uh, <laughs> just based on her Netflix queue, that's it. Just, I turn on her Netflix. Oh, it's just no. every type of serial killer documentary you yeah. can imagine. There's a guy who kills nuns, guy who kills hookers, guy who kills kids. Cooking show. Who watches? Who watches six hours of serial killers and then British Bake Off to wash it down? <laughs> How many of you ladies in here enjoy serial killer shows? I don't watch that anymore. I used to. This is to. why you don't like sports. I just want to let you know. Sports aren't violent enough for you. <laughs> You'll be watching football. You see someone unconscious on the ground, and you're like, okay, but why is no one raping him? What's going on? What's going on here? <laughs> I mean, you already have a mask and gloves on. No one's going to know it's you. Put a dick in that fucking man. Make this entertaining, please. <laughs> It's unbelievable. <laughs> you know the craziest thing about it is, it is like you ladies will watch like serial killers and fucking rapists all the time and it won't change your behavior at all. <laughs> this is real shit. She watches a documentary about this dude who would uh, rape women who are jogging in the park at night, right? Horrifying, tragic, right? After watching the documentary, she went for a jog in the fucking park. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, women are way braver than men. It's not even close to... If a single man in history was jogging in the park and got raped, we're not even jogging on treadmills no more after that. <laughs> Cardio's out the fucking equation. <laughs> you pull up to the gym, you see your boy in the elliptical, you're like, fam, get the fuck off that shit! They raping dudes these days! Find a bench where your asshole's protected! <laughs> Machine, you just teasing them on that rowing machine. <laughs> and that's a fucked up headline, too. Nobody ever talks about that. But jogger raped? That's a fucked up headline, yo. Don't ever let that be a headline with me. Schultz was raped jogging in the park at night. Schultz was raped jogging in the park at night. Motherfucker, rest assured. I was running as fast as I could. <laughs> Who's jogging, yo? You don't think I'm hitting the high knees? I got a rapist behind me, bro. There's a butt naked man with running shoes chasing me in the motherfucking park. Yeah. I hear his feet hit the ground, dick slapping against his stomach. Oh. You don't think I'm tapping turbo a couple times? Schultz was running as fast as humanly possible when an Olympic rapist, a gold medalist <laughs> from the Rape Olympics, it's probably Jamaican, they're the fastest anyway. A Jamaican gold medalist from the Rape Olympics hawked him down and took that ass against his will even though he fought valiantly. That's your headline, you print the whole shit or nothing at all. My fucking family reads the newspaper. <laughs> I'm supposed to go to Thanksgiving, my whole family look at me like, yo, don't pass him the stuff and he already had enough stuff. <laughs> I gotta bring the Jamaican rapist to dinner to clear my name, yo. Donovan, tell them what really happened in the park, yo. They don't believe me. Tell them what really fucking happened in the park. Please, tell them. My mom's was running as fast as humanly possible. Something no. was cool running in that park. But no. I'm having feel the rhythm. No. Feel the ride. I got you, white boy. It's butt fuck time. Oh, no. Cool. all right all right all right that was freaking funny yeah and i think it is like super common for people to like wind down to like serial killer documentaries and stuff like that i used to be into that too until i became a mom it's weird like when i 
had a kid all of a sudden I was like I don't want to watch any of this stuff this stuff is like way too dark but before I used to be like really into it I used to listen to the podcast on the topic you know true crime podcasts true crime documentaries all everything true crime I it like fascinated me and now I'm just like nope keep that energy away <laughs> from me um but man he's really funny no crowd work in this skit though I think this is the first time that I've seen him not have any crowd work hmm interesting all right you guys that was my reaction thanks for hanging out thanks for watching with me hopefully you guys got some laughs in too i will see you guys in the next video and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing bye